Hey, it's Steve Rainwater again with Dallas Makerspace. We are doing our open house tonight, so I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the thing and uh, show you what's going on. So the first thing we realized uh, during the day uh, uh, was that we had lots of people finding it, but at night, a little harder to see. So we just made ourselves a homemade sign and put a uh, strobe light out here so people going through the parking lot can find it. So we're going in the front door of Dallas Makerspace right now. And in the uh, first room here, we've got a uh, MakerBot 3D printer. And over here, we've got a uh, laser CNC machine. And uh, why don't you tell us about it real quick? Uh, hi, my name is Eric. Uh, this is our 40 watt CO2 laser. We actually hang on cheap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hi. Keep going. Yeah. No edits in this thing. It's all live. So, what are you cutting there? You've got some plastic. Yeah, so we're cutting out keychains. There's little plastic keychains here. Okay, so these are uh, like uh, giveaways for people. Right. So we're cutting them out of acrylic. Very cool. And we've got some crazy uh, ventilation stuff down here to suck all the toxic fumes away. And let's have a quick peek inside. There's the inside of our laser. Okay, so let's move on and see what else we've got. Here's uh, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey. You're documenting. I'm documenting. We're just taking a quick walk through. Okay. Making everybody famous. So, famous tell us who you are and what cool thing you've got. Oh, I'm Gus. Um, someone found out that I had IBOs and said I had to bring the IBOs to the makerspace open house. Uh, IBOs. Why don't you have twice as many? There they are. Because I don't make that much money. Okay. So you've got three IBOs and uh, looks like they're just kind of walking around right now. And we had a whole bunch of kids out here earlier playing with the IBOs, so this has become Become like the uh, the Kids children uh, babysitting uh, area slash petting zoo, and I finally got the network going, so you can actually see what um, the gray one sees right now. Ah, okay. No, there it is. I can see it. So we're looking through the Ibo's eyes over here, looking at another Ibo, of course. And he's tracking the little pink ball down there. Very cool. And in the corner is uh, Tankbot, the DPRG group robot, and he was doing a demo just a moment ago. Uh, now let's go through here. So it has two Excuse cameras, right? Uh, here's some crazy equipment. Uh, who knows what this thing is? What is what is this thing we're looking at, Robert? Um, I have no idea. This guy right here. This guy right here. Tell us what this thing is we're looking at. Well, this is the uh, Xbox Connect. It's a uh, uh, controllerless controller for the Xbox 360. Um, I'm just kind of reading the, uh, the data off of it from uh, USB, um, grabbing the RGB and the uh, data. Uh, okay. So is this the new uh, open source driver that we've heard yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, uh, Very cool. Yeah. What's his name? Mark. Uh, Oh, I forget. Anyway, this was um, the the lady Ada. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy okay. got like three thousand dollars. Adafruit. 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 Yeah, Adafruit. very cool. Okay. So these guys so are playing with I'll that to get some actual like make some sense of the data after a while and maybe get some multi touch or something going. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's come on back here and see what's going on. There's our our crazy uh, pile of Heathkit uh, test equipment for RF and some scanners listening to weather radio and police bands. No idea why. It just seemed like a good idea. So let's see. We've got a bunch of people doing a demo right here. What is this? Oh, uh, we are designing printable dolls that you can print out on your inkjet. Game game. Very cool. And they look like this. Ah, okay. I see you're doing a robot. I'm trying to do a robot. Very cool. So we'll leave them to do their demo. And who else have we got over here? Let's see. Some unattended projects here. And who have we got over here? Steve Reeves. With, uh, a few of my uh, cameras, uh, some of which are new-ish. Uh, we'll say 1982, 1998. One of the first uh, digital cameras I ever owned. Uh, camera from uh, the 1930s. Uh, wow. Uh, 70 years old. Uh, my oldest one. 100-year-old camera. So. I'll be testing this uh, this weekend and shooting it in the future. But uh, yeah, all these guys I've shot too. So, so all of these are actual working vintage all working cameras. cameras. I uh, I don't collect cameras that don't take pictures. Very cool. 
And I take it this is some of your work up there? It is. This is a picture that I shot with uh, Crown Graphic, this camera here. It's a 60, 70 year old camera from the 30s, I think. Late 30s, early 40s, maybe. And uh, developed in a dark room, like we have here. Uh, shot onto a uh, 60 year old film, a film that expired in 1947. <laughs> and uh, still works fine in 2010. Great. Nothing wrong with expired film. Thanks. Nothing at all. And here we've got uh, some PCB experiments, and uh, I think Mike uh, Albright is uh, working on this. We may check back in a minute and see if he's guy. around. And ah, we have the dark room, which we haven't been in yet. Uh, you may have seen our other video of our first photo posted in here. Okay, we are entering the dark room. Now we are in the dark room. We have a really nice uh, enlarger over here, which is uh, the same model that Ansel Adams used for a uh, period. We also have our big darkroom sink with lots of pans in here for uh, developing stuff. A couple of photos. I think uh, Nicole uh, shot those two photos. Okay, so we're going back outside again. Okay, we're back for part two of this thing. Flying gizmo that one of our guys brought. Crunch. Oh, if I get one of these, I'm going to take it to work and fly it around in the data center. <laughs> so tell us what this thing is that you've got here. This is an AR drone. It's a Wi Fi, <laughs> Apple, iPhone controlled quadcopter. So you're actually flying this thing from your iPhone? Yes. Very cool. It uses the accelerometers in the iPhone to do the hit yaw and roll of the. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you for the demo. Hey, this is Steve again for uh, part three of the uh, What's Going On at the Hackerspace open house tonight. And we have Black Mariah here showing off some hula hoop tricks. And here we go. Okay. So can you talk while you're doing that? Yeah. Cool. You just can't look away. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and why you're spinning hula hoops around. Uh, well, I'm a burlesque dancer, but this is my new passion. Is that the one that lights up? It is the one that lights up, but our battery is dead. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so I'll give you a sad face. But um, this is an LED hoop. So I brought the LED hoop so we can deconstruct it and make it better. So the hackers are going to help you hack your hula hoop. Yeah, we're going to make it bigger and better because apparently they didn't have enough technology to make it bigger and better. So we're going to do it. Cool. Deconstruct, make it better. Because nothing's better than toys that light up or light on fire. Yeah, we have several people here that like to set things on fire. So if somebody wanted to see uh, some more of this hula hooping, where could they go to see it? Um, you could probably go to Across the Street Bar on Wednesday nights in Dallas, down at SMU campus on SMU Boulevard. All the hoopers and the poi dancers and the fire kids are out there. Uh, there's also a group called Surf Out on Tuesday nights in Richardson. Uh, they meet in different places, but they also learn all these sort of steel toys, cool. hula hooping, poi tricks, things like that. Very good. It's the best place to learn, too, because everybody helps each other out. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.